what's is happening is uh, that um, the strategic convergence, the strategic alignment of the European Union and the United States has actually never been greater mm -hmm. um, on the perception of the international threats we face, on the policy choices we have, um, the interests we share, and, uh, and how we want to tackle the global challenges that really can't be uh, tackled alone. Um, I think the continuity of uh, EU-US relations is pretty much assured with the, uh, with, with the uh, uh, re-election of President Obama. Uh, although there are um, structural uh, uh, realities that, that are there regardless of any administration because the interests of the United States and the European Union are very, very uh, similar, very common. The main agenda points for the next few years are a focus on the economy. That is an absolute priority. Both uh, sides of the Atlantic desperately need jobs and growth. But our foreign policy cooperation will also uh, uh, continue. It's, it's been excellent. It will continue. There are many problems that remain and many problems that will show up. And there's always the unexpected, unexpected. Uh, but uh, um, and climate change, energy, uh, non-proliferation. Um, and development. All of these uh, uh, challenges will remain for, for the transatlantic relationship, um, but I'm confident that the sense of, uh, of shared uh, interests um, and based on the common values that we have, and above all, the shared interests will, uh, will allow this, uh, this partnership to strengthen further. Um, I think a new context, a new reality of emerging powers, uh, China, of course. Has led uh, uh, to to re to, to re prioritization of, of agendas. The United States is, uh, has the Asia Pacific pivot, as we know, but um, so do we. I mean, we have uh, also the Asia relationship to handle, and cooperation between the United States and the European. Thank you. 